Okay, what we have here is an Agin Model A machine, also known as a recycler. As you can see, the center tray right here for the losing balls catches them and recycles them back into the jackpot tray, which is right there. So that's the easy way to spot a Model A machine, or also known as a recycler. The Like most pachinko machines, there's an upper ball hopper right here that you put the balls in. And then the balls will come down into this steel track. This is the first of the mechanisms right here, which is a low ball indicator. When there's not enough weight in this tray right here, the balls, this, this tray will, will tip down, closing this circuit and turning on the light up here. As the balls travel down, this is one of the stop mechanisms to keep it from getting overloaded. The balls travel down the tube and down into the jackpot tray. As you can see right here, there's some in there. This doesn't hold a whole lot of balls in here as it's in its current state, but it will fill up. The balls travel along underneath here, go underneath the tray, and then this cover right here keeps the balls only one row thick until they travel over here to the jackpot seesaw. There's usually a cover over the top, which covers over the top of this, but that's the reason I chose this machine, so you can see that with the cover missing, how it will work. This is the ball dump mechanism, which will empty the machine out completely. As it pays out, this is part of the jackpot mechanism. The balls fall down, ringing this bell right here, and they travel along and go back out the front. As we travel along over here, this is part of the part of the mechanism. This is what will request balls. So you can see here that if, if these two weights move, you can hear the balls actually start to fall from the top hopper. So as it needs more balls, that rocker arm comes up, trips that lever up there, and it allows the balls to fall down a few at a time as the machine needs them on its own. This is part of the shooter mechanism. You can kind of see how that works. And you can see that they come down and how that shoots. You can actually see how the losing balls come back through and that's part of the recycling mechanism so that they go back in back into the jackpot so that the balls don't fall out the bottom like other styles of machines there is a cup down here and on occasion a ball will come out of here for two reasons if this tray gets too full then the balls will spill over into that hole right there and then they fall down into there so if the house is winning too much, if the machine's too tight, this tray will fill up and they will overflow into there. So that's kind of how the machine works. There's a couple of default mechanisms. Let's see if we can get it to play a jackpot. Here comes a jackpot. And so you can see how that works. around to the front right here on this machine is how you open up the glass in the front and we'll come around here to the front and the tulips are closed so this is the front of this machine you can see here's the window to where the balls for the jackpot are to show that there's balls in there and if we can manually play a couple and see how the balls come in there and on this machine the one winning ball comes down to the bottom. And what that noise was, was the machine was needing more balls. So they came from the top hopper down. Come back around here. That noise was the balls falling down here because I hit those two jackpots in a row, filling this tray back up. So let's see if we can get a couple more jackpots here. And that's it, Nijin Model A Recycler.